All right, good afternoon, everyone. Today is Monday, August 13th, 2012. Um, not a lot to go over. There's not not going to be a lot in the recap this morning. I'll show everybody what I what I went over in the live trading room, but we didn't take any trades at all. No trades at all. Not any break-even trades, nothing. Um, but let's start over here with the YM. When we opened up the live trading room this morning, we noticed that we had a head and shoulders pattern forming. Um, this was it right here. This this is one shoulder, this is the low, this was the head. This was the other shoulder low right there. Um, what I had said was you know, this is the top top of the shoulder, top of the shoulder, top of the head. If we close down below this level right here and I had drawn in this um this box right here. Uh, I said if we close down below that, then we are likely to see a, a 70 point move down on the YM. We did close below that right over here in the live trading room. And in the live trading room, the last I looked, we were down about 50 points from there. Um, let's see, it's pulled back a little bit. It uh, dropped from, yeah, it's about right. 50 was about the max. But if we drop down below here, then I think we are going to... Um, uh, hang on, I'm just going through here. If we drop down below there, then I think we're going to see uh, the rest of that, the rest of that move down at yeah. least another 25 points, 25 points. I would think. All right, we didn't take any trades. The only place where we might have even taken a trade was right in here, but it didn't pull all the way back up to the BBC. Okay, we had some bearish divergence. This is the 500 contract YM. We had some bearish divergence. The 20 was inside the envelope and it was pulling back up to the BBC. It didn't actually hit it, so we didn't take the trade. Okay. Um, let's look at the ES. Now on the ES I had drawn in these trend lines pretty early on, like this one right over here. And the problem with the ES and the YM for that matter is that they were both going down into the weekly trading zone. So I wanted to see it drop through the weekly trading zone before we got an entry. Um, as price was moving down here, we were trying to sell the BBC in here but it didn't pull back far enough. It got within one tick of our entry, and then it, it you know, the bottom fell out of it, and it moved down toward the down weekly, toward trading, the weekly zone. trading zone. I said I was not going to uh, to try to short it if it went down to the zone. Uh, by the time it pulled back up, it was down too far for me to do it anyway, because I'd like to have two points between my entry and any weekly trading zone. Um, there would have been a point and a half between my entry and the zone. Okay? Um... Same head and shoulders thing, and I showed that, and I also showed how on the YM it was leading the ES as far as the movement down went. Uh, you can see there's, you know, there's very little volume today to go on top of everything else. If we flip it over to a 50,000 contract, um, let's see, 1044, right there is 930. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 600,000 in volume today so far from the open. Not a lot to go on. Um, we didn't take any trades. We did try to trade. Um, I had drawn in these trend lines here. And you can see the top one was respected. The bottom one, it broke through that right at the zone. And that's, we were anticipating shorts. I was telling the guys in the live trading room, when you have divergence like this, what you anticipate is that the green line is going to work its way down into the cycle, like it did here, and here, and here. And on this particular case, it started working its way down into the cycle. We weren't going to take this trade because of this trend line and because it was too close to the weekly trading zone. But you see, once we had that higher, that higher low right there, the cycle started to work its way into the green line. And right now we have some, some actual bullish divergence. But I am not eager to take any trades right here um, at all on the, uh, on the ES. Okay. Mm. Jump over to the NQ. We did have one trade set up on the NQ in the live trading room this morning. I'll point it out to you. Right here. Was that it? Yeah, that was it. Um, right up here, there was a bearish cross, a pullback up test of the BBC with a down close here at 27.22. It drew down seven ticks. You know I use an eight tick stop on this. It drew down seven ticks. And then it dropped, I think it dropped 12 points. 
Yeah, it dropped 12 points, and then it started to move back up. Right here at the close of the morning session, we had some bullish divergence attest to the BBC with an up close. So there was an opportunity there, and another one right in there to trade the NQ. All right. That was all there was on the ES, the NQ, the YM. Um, I'll go over a little bit of crude oil here. We didn't trade crude. Crude was pretty active this morning, um, but I didn't realize it was active until <laughs> until it had gotten choppy in here. All right, but I wasn't going to trade it anyway once it started to consolidate in here. I just didn't want to get involved with it. But we're looking at the same exact thing, guys. Um, you look for a bullish cross at the MA1 over the BBC, a pullback down to the BBC with an up close, and divergence down on the bottom. Over and over again that happens. Okay, so uh, you can see it in here. Now you had your bullish cross, pull back down to the BBC, bullish divergence, a test, and up close. Same thing here, a test, and up close. Um, that's pretty much it, a test, and an up close. Test, and an up close, test, and an up close. That was pretty much it um, on the crude oil. Now, I'm going to just cover the 6E a little bit, okay, because we had some questions about it this morning in the live trading room. Um, there wasn't a ton of opportunity on the 6E this morning either. I mean, it was it was, it was was not moving, just like everything else. Um, there was one spot on the 6E where right over here, I believe, is where we had suggested right here at... 123.57. Let me blow this up a little bit. In the live trading room this morning at 123.57, right over here, we had a momentum trade, and I had suggested to the folks that were watching the 6E that that right there is a momentum trade, and we should see some downward movement from there. You can see it did drop down. It took a long time. Immediately, it dropped 10, 10 ticks, but it ended up dropping you know, almost 20. And that was the live trading room this morning. Not a lot of activity. Um, it was more of a live training room for anybody that, that had any questions. All right. And that's it. All right. So if you guys have not taken a free trial with us, what you get in your free trial is two hours per day for five days in the live trading room. Um, you get all the indicators that you see here with the data feeds and everything else. You get that for five business days. Um, you get access to Dwayne and I for five business days. You get to go in the live trading room and ask any questions you want, and we will do our best to answer every one. Um, to get a free trial, if you haven't taken one, go to www.cfrn.net forward slash apply. Okay, www.cfrn.net forward slash apply. All right, and that is it.